Hey everyone, Darth Redbeard here. Oop. I forgot how you do this. One second. Key bindings. Free look is left alt. Excuse me, man. I'm trying to figure out how to do third F four. Okay. All right, you're not gonna be able to see my face because it's nighttime here. I'm literally the only one on the camp. That's the best you'll see of me. All right. All right, I'm going to get and reload the gun here. All right. I'm actually on War of Rights, but no, I am not joining a battle. I'm actually going to do a quick thing for Memorial Day coming up. Make sure no one's here. Sorry. All right. So first up, for those of us who don't know... Memorial Day is a holiday celebrated in America, and no, it's not just for cookouts, like most people seem to think we would do. It is actually to honor those who fought in the war between the states. Specifically, these ones are, this one is for the Union boys. Alright. So, without further ado... I am going to read General Order 11 from the headquarters from the Grand Army of the Republic, dated from Washington, D.C., dated May 5th, 1868. Okay. General Orders number 11. First, the 30th day of May, 1868, is designed for the purpose of strewing with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion and whose bodies now lie in almost every city, village, and hamlet churchyard in the land. In this observance, no form or ceremony is prescribed, but post and comrades will in their own way arrange such fitting services and testimonials of respect as circumstances may permit. We are organized, comrades, as our regulations tell us, for the purpose, among other things, of preserving and strengthening those kind and fraternal feelings which have bound together the soldiers, sailors, and marines who united to suppress the late rebellion. Yeah, Cat wanted to help me here, so give me a few minutes. Hey, Fiona, I'm reading this for the video. You want to help? <laughs> what can aid more to assure this result than by cherishing tenderly the memory of our heroic dead who made their breasts a barricade between our country and its foes? Their soldier lives were the re reveille of freedom to a, a race in chains, and their deaths the tattoo of rebellious tyranny in arms. Okay. 
We should guard their graves with sacred village, vil, vigil, vigilance. All that the cons consecrated wealth and the and taste of the nation can add to their adornment and security is but a fitting tribute to the memory of her slain defenders. Let no wanton foot tread rudely on such hallowed grounds. Let pleasant paths invite the coming and going of reverent visitors and fond mourners. Let no vandalism of avarice or neglect, no ravages of time, testify to the present or to the coming generations that we have forgotten as a people the cost of a free and undivided republic. And other eyes grows dull, if other eyes grow dull and other hands slack and other hearts cold in the solemn trust, our shall keep it well as long as the light and warmth of life remains in us. Let us then at the let us then at the appo time appointed gather around their sacred remains and garland the, the passionless mounds ab of them with choicest flowers of springtime. Let us raise above them the dear old flag they say from dishonor. Let us in this solemn presence renew our pledge to aid and assist those whom they have left among us as sacred charges upon the nation's gratitude, the soldiers and settlers widowed and orphaned. It is the purpose of the Commander-in-Chief to inaugurate this observance with the hope that it will be kept up from year to year while a survivor of the war remains to honor the memory of his departed comrades. He earnestly desires the public press to call attention to this order and lend its friendly aid in bringing it to the notice of comrades in all parts of the country in time for stimulus compliance therewith. Department commanders will use every effort to make this order effective. By command of John A. Logan, Commander-in-Chief. Alright, the GAR is no longer with us, but those of us in the Sons of Union Veterans are. Alright. I am. I can only do uh, three rounds, sorry. There's not more here, so I can't do a 21 gun salute.
Now a moment of silence. Alright. This is in honor of Memorial Day coming up. Oh. Well, looks like we're getting ready to go out into the battle. It suddenly turned light. But yeah, figure with Memorial Day coming up, I do something like that. Yeah, the game I used is War of Rights. It, well, if you can find a good online community to play with, this is actually a really good game. But it's finding the community. That'll be all for this time. Um, thank you all for at least listening to my video. And I hope you all understand Memorial Day wasn't... Okay. Just used for no reason to have a cookout. Despite what I know a lot of people will say. Thank you all for coming, and I will hopefully see you all in another video. Because I do plan on redoing, starting up the Call of Duty again, so. Thank you all for at least paying homage here with me. Let's see what this happens. Uh, I need to get this right. I need to get mouse change, probably. Well, I didn't do anything. Alright. Thank you all for stopping by.